Okay, so let's take a look at one of the other cubic unit cells. So uh, there's seven cells in three dimensions, one of which is a cube. And the cubic one is actually three different types of cells that are all a cubic structure. And the type we're gonna look at now is body-centered cubic or BCC for short. And so we can just kind of go ahead and draw the cube in as before. So here's our cube. Uh, we've got a lattice point at each one of the eight corners of the cube. Okay, just like before. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw Okay, so these could be atoms or molecules or ions or viruses or whatever. And in the body center, there's actually a atom in the center of the cube itself. So there's one in the dead center of the cube like so. So that is referred to as the body when it's inside. And this is at 68% packing efficiency. So uh, it turns out that if you're going to pack things in three dimensions that are spherical, then this way of packing it is 68% efficient. That is to say for every, say, 100 milliliters, 68 of them will contain atoms and uh, the remaining 32 will be empty space. So what are some example of solids that pack this way? So if you look at barium or you look at some forms of solid iron, so the iron atoms and the barium atoms take this arrangement in space. And if you go ahead and you look at the atoms themselves, so uh, one eighth of the atom are in the corners because uh, you can put eight cubes right next to each other, but you get entirely 100% of the atom in the center. So if we go ahead and we wanna know the number of atoms in this unit cell, there are eight atoms at the corner, uh, each corner is only uh, one eighth inside of the unit cell. There is one atom in the center in the body, but 100% of that is inside. And so there are two atoms inside of this unit cell if you're looking at atoms in, say, like iron or barium, let's say. So this is a uh, app here that shows me a body-centered cubic unit cell. So this is actually iron. And you can see you've got the atom there in the center, the lattice point in the center with an atom. And you've got your eight atoms at your corners here. So hopefully this is a little easier to see than my terrible drawings. Uh, we can go ahead and we can make eight copies of that and stack them, four on the bottom, four on the top. And again, you can see, you know, you've got your atoms there in the body and you've got your lattice points here with atoms at the corners. And you can see that each one there is shared one eighth of the way. And uh, as we go ahead and we make more copies, and uh, actually as we go ahead and we grow the atoms into their normal size, you can see there's a lot less room here. So that's 74% packed. And we can go ahead and we can make uh, multiple copies of that unit cell to recreate a crystal of iron that's one nanometer by one nanometer by one nanometer. And again, look at all those atoms. They all line up in uh, these kind of uh, these flat uh, planes here. And actually we can scatter x-rays off of these crystals and determine the structure of uh, all these um, materials.